Which one do you want me to answer first? Both of them. Both of them. Both of them. Hold the line, please. Thank you. I'd like to have my grip, please. Yes, ma'am. Let me see that. Well, they came in on the last train. We haven't unloaded the truck yet. Go out and get the lady's grip. Hurry up. Excuse me. Excuse me, please. Where is it? This one. Oh, there you are, madam. I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh, come on. Clean this all up. Come on. Straighten it out. Wilbur, darling. Are you all right? Sandra, I hurt my poor Wilbur head. Your head? <laughs> oh, no. Does this hurt? Uh-uh. Does that hurt? Uh-uh. Thank heaven. If anything happened to you, dearest, I'd never forgive myself. That kiss made everything all better. Gee, you worry about me an awful lot, don't you? Mm, you mean an awful lot to me. Tell me more. I will, at dinner tonight. Come on, get up out of there and go to work. That is, if your head doesn't bother you too much. His head is all right. It is, eh? But is your head all right? Certainly. Frankly, I don't get it. And frankly, you never will. I can't understand that, Dean. Of all the guys around here, that classy dish has to pick out a guy like you. Well, what's wrong with that? Go look at yourself in the mirror sometime. Why should I hurt my own feelings? Go uh, answer the phone. <laughs> Go ahead, I'll pick these up. Baggage room. London. Calling here? Uh, St. Clect, is it? Oh, all right, put them on. Hello? Do you have two crates addressed to the McDougal House of Horrors? Uh, what's the number on the checks? Oh, never mind that. Tonight the moon will be full here. I haven't much time. Now listen closely. I'm flying out of here at dawn. Under no circumstances are you to deliver those crates until I arrive. Understand? Under... Honey. Mr. McDougal, will you stop gargling your throat? Dog away from the phone. I can't hear a word you're saying. You're awful silly to call me all the way from London just to have your dog talk to me. That's a funny conversation. A guy growls like a wolf. The nerve of some people. Well, what can I do for you, Bub? I'm in a hurry. I have two crates here addressed to my house of horrors, and I want immediate delivery. My name's McDougal. McDougal? But I just talked to you on a telephone from London. How'd you get here so fast? They shoot you out of a can? Are you crazy? I've been here all the time. Now get me those crates. How long have you been here? Five minutes. Well, what are you beefing about? I've been here for five years. You don't see me going around like that and yelling. Yeah, there's the insurance slip and there's a bill of lading. Now get me those crates. Look, will you please stop yelling? Come here. You know it's impolite to raise your voice? Oh, chick! Why didn't you give me these in the first place? Oh, chick! Chick! This man wants these crates. Hmm. Insured for $20,000. We'd better look these up. Must be valuable. I'll say they're valuable. Oh, yes, Sandra. Uh, he's busy. Come. He's busy, please. That little fellow's impossible. Hurry up with those crates. Do you know what I've got in there, miss? Haven't the slightest idea. Just the greatest attraction the House of Horrors ever had, that's all. One of them's a coffin containing the remains of the original Count Dracula, and the other's the body of the Frankenstein monster. <laughs> Guess that combination's enough to scare the pants, I mean, shirt right off your back, ain't it? <laughs> I don't scare easily. Well, neither do I, where money's concerned. I got them dirt cheap. European agent, pick my name, right out of thin air. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah, yeah. Mr. McDougal. Hey, Chick, here's one. 
honey, I have to run along. Something has come up that means we'll have to break our day tonight. It ain't another man, is it? Of course not. Silly boy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Boy, I'm floating on a cloud of love. Listen, you little blimp. I'll let the air out of you in a minute if you don't give me a hand. You understand that? Thank you. Boy, is this kid lost. Come here. Take that rope and get up on top of that box and tie it to that handle up there. Okay. Nothing matters. No more. Oh, I'm so happy. Go on, go on. Get up there. Hit it. Hold still now. Stop him, is he trying to ruin me? I'll keep your shirt on, you're insured. Yes, and if those exhibits are damaged, I intend to collect. Well, there you are. Shall I wrap it up? No, you idiot. You're going to take those down to my house of horrors and uncrate them. Because if that's the way you handle baggage, I'm going to have the insurance agent there to inspect them before I accept delivery. Well, then it's going to cost you overtime because I'm a union man. And I work only 16 hours a day. A union man only works eight hours a day. I belong to two unions. Get those down to my place. All right. <laughs> 